And look, I'm as ready to applaud someone having a go as the next person, but that doesn't mean that every child must win a prize. I mean, all credit to our magnificent Olympian team that's bringing back a record swag of medals, but a dud performance is a dud performance. There's no point pretending otherwise. I mean, break dancing was one of those new sports introduced to us at Paris. At best, it's a cross between dancing and gymnastics. I mean, what you can see there is some brilliant people at a re recent Red Bull competition. That's what it's supposed to look like. Unfortunately, our competitor, Rachel Gunn, a 36-year-old university lecturer who wrote her thesis on gender in Sydney's breakdancing scene, well, she got precisely zero points in three rounds of competition. But anyone who says that she's a pretty ordinary performer, well, those criticisms have been called out as misogyny. Now, come on, if we want to compete, female or male even, you've got to accept the umpire's decision and the views of those who watch what you do. Former socceroo Craig Foster has hit out at it and said that anyone who's criticising Gunn is un-Australian. Now, give me a break. Anyway, you cut it. Her performances were crap. How on earth did she even qualify? But if you listen to the Prime Minister, she's a role model, he says, who should be praised for having a crack. Now, come on. I thought the whole point of the Olympics was to celebrate competition, not mere participation. What a waste of taxpayers' money. And what a cheap shot to claim justifiable criticism isn't allowed because Gunn's a woman. I mean, that's embarrassing to all the magnificent other female athletes who have excelled.